Hi, I'm Lily Cunning. I'm a mom and a sex educator and a feminist and an herbalist and activist here in Columbus, Ohio. And if you're like me, you are appalled at the war on women in this country um, and the lack uh, and restriction of choices and body autonomy. And I decided that something needed to be done. And given my skill set, I knew that I could create a really amazing uh, class for girls on sex and bodies and relationships and consent from a feminist body positive sex positive perspective um, and I set about to doing just that the class is called maiden voyage and I welcome you to the team An online class allows um, students to ask questions in an anonymous way. Um, when I taught these classes in person before, uh, there is definitely an element of embarrassment and sometimes stigma or shame. Um, and we worked our way around that in person, but online adds this extra layer of protection for people. Um, we see it all the time online. People feel like they can say or do anything. Um, and this is all to the good in this case. Um, so the anonymity is really helpful. Uh, I'm also doing it online because I am able to make it widely available, whereas if I were teaching this in person, it would be restricted to where I could travel to in any given time. Um, and this information needs to be widespread. Um, and I'm also making it online because it makes it incredibly affordable because once I build the class, which is what this Kickstarter is about, um, I can make it available over and over uh, all across the world. Um, and I'm really excited about that possibility. One of the things that's exciting is, about an online class is that um, as students have more questions that maybe haven't been addressed by complete units, I can easily add to them and make them available. Um, and as students or other people request new units, that will be done. Um, my dedication to this project is in perpetuity. And um, I will be moderating and facilitating the classes in perpetuity. So, um, you know, while this Kickstarter does not fund the maintenance of the plan, um, I uh, will build it and maintain it and update it as necessary. As soon as we're funded, uh, I believe that I can get the course done in about two months. I've already done a ton of preliminary work and research. It's really about getting all of that information distilled into digestible lesson units, which can take some time. Um, and I believe I can do that in two months. Um, once uh, those two months are up, we're gonna launch the class and um, you know, make it available to the world. So who should fund this project? Uh, parents, feminists, people upset with the war on women. Um, you know, there are so many different ways that we can tackle this problem. And I really feel like knowledge can lead to wisdom in this case. Um, the philosophy of this class, because we do talk about topics that are stigmatized and taboo in, in some populations is that knowledge is going to lead to informed and wise choices. Um, I don't believe that we should keep information from um, our children. I believe that we educate them on all the things, including our opinions on those things, and that they then are, are much better able to go forward in the world and make an informed decision uh, based on their personal ethics and um, their situation. So I hope that you will join me in educating our next generation of girls on body autonomy and consent and sexuality and gender um, and all about their amazing bodies. Thank you.